Shalom, shalom. Call Haloyim La. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Akakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, a teacher of will. Peace and salutations be to hopeful elect. I'm Brother Tazum Gabar coming at you from the prophets in Babylon camp here in Tampa, Florida. All right, this lesson is going to be going into this Juneteenth. Okay, so let's grab, let's look up Juneteenth to find out what Juneteenth is really all about. It says, Juneteenth is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating and the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. Deriving its name from the combining, it's like you, deriving its name from combining June and 19th is it is celebrated on the anniversary on the anniversary of the order by Major General Gordon Granger proclaiming freedom for enslaved people in Texas on June 19th, 1865. Well, it just so happens that they made Pride Month in June as well, man. Okay, these devils don't give a shit about uh, Jake. But the most wickedest, the most wickedest um, month, you know. Uh, around that day so that you can celebrate it during that wicked ass month. You got flamers out there, you know, dancing for the rights of uh, Jake. You know, these devils gonna do whatever it takes to keep you down. But I got these pictures. I got these pictures of uh, this parade they had. And they had an eating contest at this Juneteenth parade. And you got nothing but niggas up there on the table. Nothing but niggas. And guess what they're eating? You wouldn't just guess what they're eating. It says, the winner of the 40th annual Juneteenth Chitling Eating Contest, 38-year-old Wayne Funkmouth Haskell ate about 14 pounds of chitlings in 10 minutes. So this guy ate 14 pounds of pork, a pig intestines in 10 minutes. So this is what they're doing during um, a parade for the <laughs> emancipation of what they will call freedom of so-called uh, black people, man. Okay, these niggas eating nigga food, slave food. They went back to eating slave food. These elites are laughing at you, Jakes, man. This is a mockery to you. Okay, this ain't, this ain't nothing that you should be uh, proud of or you should be happy for. You should be grateful for, thankful for. This is a deception. They deceived you, made you think that you was that they was um, giving you a day to yourselves, or merely was giving you a day to be niggas. You know, a day to remind you that you were niggas. Okay. They had a chit. They literally had a chilling eating contest. Let's go into what. Let's look up chillings, so we can know the full details on chillings, man. It says cooked pig intestines. Okay, so what makes pork or pig so bad is the shit that they eat. Okay, so not only is it the shit that they eat that makes it bad, but it's now they're shitting it out. It, it gets digested into the bodies and passed down through their intestines. And that's what Jake is eating. The shit that holds the stuff that they eat. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the organs that holds their shit. Okay, it says cooked pig intestines, chitlins, or chitterlings, as they are also called, are cooked pig intestines. While the vast majority of chitlins are pork, sometimes intestines from other animals, particularly cows, are sometimes used. Typically, typically boiled, fried, or stuffed with minced meat and served as just one part of a larger meal. So, I'll just go to, just go to show you that these devils, first of all, these devils ain't gonna, ain't gonna get no intestines from cows. And feed it to Jake. They get them from, from pigs and feed it to Jake. The reason is because um, the Lord said not to eat pork. In the book of Leviticus 11, let me grab it. Leviticus 11 and 7. It says, And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be clever footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean unto you. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and the carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So, there you go. Two scriptures telling you that they're unclean. And Leviticus 11, two together, telling you that they're unclean. Don't eat it. They are unclean to you. Touch the carcass. Don't touch the carcass. Don't even eat. 
these motherfucking animals, they're unclean. Pork have, they don't have sweat glands. They don't sweat, so the toxins stay in their body and their bodies, but their bodies were created to um, be able to handle that because they're the natural garbage cans of the earth. The Lord created um, uh, garbage cans of the earth. So you have, um, everything was made perfect and in balance and a harmony where these pigs eat the, the death of the earth and they eat the shit of the earth, they eat all things that are just trash. And then they shit it out and it becomes fermentation for the ground, the grass, and it grows, okay? But um, they're natural garbage cans. That's why a, a pig can get bitten by a poisonous serpent and it, the pig won't die. The pig won't die because his body was created to intake that, that poison and that venom. I'm going to grab the book of Judith. Chapter 5. I'm going to show you why um, pork was fed to us during hardcore slavery. It's the book of Judah, chapter 5, and verse... Seventeen. It says, And whilst they sent not before their power, they prospered, because the power that hateth iniquity was with them. I'll read it verbatim. And whilst they sent not before their God, they prospered, because the God that hateth iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, which was the law, statutes, and commandments, when they started breaking those laws, statutes, and commandments, when Jake did, it says, They were destroyed in many battles very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs, and the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. But now are they returned to their power, and are come up from the places where they were scattered, and have possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error against his people, and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. So this is why we're still in slavery and uh, bondage to these Edomites and subject to payments to these Edomites today, because shit like Juneteenth, they got their eating chitlins and shit. This, this is what keeps us in oppression. This is what keeps us in slavery. It says, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let, not, let my Lord now pass by. Let their Lord defend them and their power before them, and we become a report, reproach before all the world. So when our Lord, Yehovah Shemesh, is for us and with us, no one can come against us. No nation can come against us, man. Because these nations were created for us. We're, they were created to be ruled by us, man. You know, but when we were going off, the Lord wasn't with us in these nations. We were brought low and these nations were brought high above us. And they would put us into captivity and slavery. And we would have to be subject to them, you know. <clears throat> but, um, there you go. You got Jake eating that shit. On Juneteenth and think that it's okay, and then you got Pride Month and Juneteenth. Or Juneteenth is uh, falls in uh, along Pride Month. You know, there's just no escaping the wickedness with this with these wicked ass Jakes, man. You know, but I truly this lesson was edifying to you. I came out worth and listen to the sincerity to the next semester on to give all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kapodash. Shalom.